Now, some of you will get money back when you file your taxes, but a refund's not in the cards for everyone. When money's tight, loans can almost be a lifeline, and it's a simple process. It solves. Let's bring it on with General Manager John Deneen. Good morning, John. Hey, Good morning, John. guys. Thank Welcome you. Back. You getting money back this year or what? You know, a little bit with all these kids, you <laughs> know, know, you get <laughs> something back. That's the good thing. No kidding. That's the good thing about kids. Yes. I mean, come on. All these kids. It's not like you have 20. What yeah, do you that's have? true. Four. Four, four boys. I was, so. I was just adding a fifth. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. Your oh, boy. Four that's, four, that's four grand, buddy. That's four grand. Exactly. That's fine. By me. Uh, how do these loans work? You know, a lot of people call in and they want to know about the process. You know, how easy is it? Is it difficult? Uh, what do they need? That's mm -hmm. the biggest thing. So we want to educate people on it's such an easy process to use um, because instead of like a bank where you'll go in and you'll sign paperwork, here it's for collateral. So you don't need, you know, good credit. Mm -hmm. You don't need, uh, you know, bad credit. You know, it does, credit doesn't matter at all. We're actually loaning off of that item you're bringing into mm -hmm. us. And that's from jewelry to electronics to tools, anything. I mean, that's our biggest problem. We don't say no to very much. Really? And so when people bring those items in, what we're going to do is we're going to assess that item and I'm going to base that loan for you off of that item. Mm -hmm. So it's really an easy process and it's it's great to use. Mm -hmm. So what I mean, you're talking about the sort of what people can get back. Sure. Um, it depends on what you're you're bringing in, really. But I mean, it could be as little as 50 bucks yes up to what do you think you know we, we, we've done hundred thousand dollar loans before for wow. businesses so this okay. is not something for well I should say it's for everybody from somebody that's maybe just like you said needing to pay a 50 or 60 dollar bill or there's companies that you know their accounts receivables are so far out right now that they still have other projects and they need to pay their people mm -hmm. so they're bringing in let's say machinery uh, you know, for some wow. companies, loaning off of those items just to make payroll or get through this next next project. It's a cash flow issue. It, it, it really is, yeah. and that's mm -hmm. the biggest thing. Is that you know, some people just go, boy, you know, the banks are a little bit tighter right now. Um, the money that I should be getting paid in from you know some of my clients, they're just maybe a month or two out farther than they typically are. So how can I kind of bridge that gap? Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to make sure people understand is that it's such an easy process, and I'm not. Um, you know, there's a couple times I might say no to something, but really most of the time we're going to work with you and I'm going to try the hardest I can to get you what you need. Whether it's consumers or it's it are businesses, what, yes. can, what can they expect to get out of their items, whether sure. it's machinery or maybe just family, family heirlooms? And, and that's probably the trickiest part because uh, take jewelry, for example. A lot of times people, of course, are going to look at what they either paid for their item retail-wise mm -hmm. or what, let's say, their appraisal values are. And so what we look at is a lot of times is we're going to go off of wholesale values. And we do that not only for jewelry, but for tools and electronics. We look at um, a little bit of depreciation, mm -hmm. uh, but we kind of see what they're going for in the market time mm -hmm. at, at that point. And that's what we're going to loan off of. And so our loans are basically based off of a four month uh, interest process. So you actually have from the date you sign your contract, you have four months wow. to come back and get your item. The biggest question that we always get asked is, are you going to put my item out on the floor? Right. I mean, is it going to be out here for uh -huh. people to see? And no, we have warehouses where we store your item. Once we write up that contract, we label it yours. It goes in the back. Nobody touches it, sees it till you come back to get it. Mm -hmm. And that goes for jewelry, machinery, anything that you have. Some people, if you're, you're let's say you're taking out a loan today, mm -hmm. um, but then in two months you'd like another loan, sure. but you're still working on that first. Is there a limit? to the number of loans you can take out. There is not. And we do have people that that happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. They get through one little period, but they realize, oh boy, I do need a little bit more. So we have people that have multiple loans in mm -hmm. there. At the end of four months too, you can actually extend that loan out even farther if you need to as well. Just coming in, making payments. So it's a simple process. No appointment needed. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you don't have to call us ahead of time. Just stop in at any point. We'll look at your items. And like I said, we're we watch those items like they're our own, so we take great care of them. And all locations too. All locations yeah. do it. Yeah. So please just even call and we'll discuss it so you mm -hmm. know what you're looking at as well. Um, and since it's not a credit based loan, mm -hmm. if for some reason you can't pay that loan back, you know, we just keep that item so that item becomes ours so it doesn't hit your credit or it doesn't go towards, you know, any negative feedback mm -hmm. towards yeah, yourself. Maybe they just don't need a loan, they just want to sell something. And just that's bring the next stuff thing. In too. Just yeah. bring stuff in. If you don't want to sell anything on Craigslist or have, you know, oh, uh, yeah. something at home to end, you know, sell items, just bring it into us. I'll actually buy your items as well and we make it really simple for yeah. you. So, John, yes. when you were here last week, you brought a gorgeous, <sighs> 
high end. Yes. Um, this is a cool pendant. Tell it, us about the it design. It really is. We've actually just recently got in a great selection of Roberto coin pieces, mm -hmm. and this is a great designer piece that, Isn't that it's beautiful? 18 karat. It actually, if you look inside of there, a lot of people go, oh, are those black diamonds? Those are actually black and blue sapphires that are yeah. in there set with about a third of a carat worth of diamonds in there. Oh my. The neck chain is kind of on a rope style neck uh -huh. chain that you can actually shorten or lengthen yes, in the sir. back really simply. Yep. So it's a gorgeous piece, but also a designer piece that really stands out. While we're looking, yes. would you speak about the uh, piece on my hand? This is a piece that comes in, that came into the store that I, it really caught my eye because of the different colors to it. Mm -hmm. It actually has a, it's 14 karat white gold. It has a little over a two and a half carats of brown diamonds with about a third of white diamonds in there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, unlike wow. that typical white dome look you're going to get, mm -hmm. this actually kind of gives that champagne look well, to it, but they are brown diamonds. John, though it's white gold, yes. there's rhodium, Correct. it seems, on the prongs, which gives it a really interesting depth. They do that. The jewelers are doing that nowadays because it really brings out colored diamonds, yeah. brown, black diamonds, but it also really uh, shows the white diamonds I kind of inside that. of there because they are a little bit smaller when you really look there. Let's talk about price because I know yes. Mike wants to. One of the biggest <laughs> things, that doing? Roberto coin piece, you're uh -huh. looking a little over $8,000 retail. For our viewers, you're looking at $3,000. And the ring. And the, and the ring. ring, you're looking at about $6,000 retail. For the viewers, $2,000. Okay, so we'll send wow. this back with you today. Yes. And then I'm going to keep, keep this ring piece. for the next week. It will be gorgeous. I get stopped in public about your stuff more yeah. than anything else we do on the show. People want to, what are you wearing from Saul's? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be happy to show this one off. Uh, look for Saul's on social media between Twitter and Facebook. And then online, we we're showing you the website. It's Saul's Jewelry and Loan.net as we're emphasizing loans today. And you can get them at any of the five locations. All right. Thanks, Johnny. Guys, thank Congratulations you on that tax return. Those oh, thank you. Oh, boy. In, <laughs> it came in big time. Something, didn't they? you know. Go buy a trampoline. <laughs> there <or something>. you <laughs> exactly. You know, you got to get something cool. Hey, We're back.